hey everybody welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is caroline what was that okay there we go my name is caroline uh in today's video well it's been a long time since i did a video but today i feel encouraged i feel excited to do it and i feel motivated as well to do it um this is just a wake up call or a reminder some we are going to be educating ourselves on this um video and uh yeah continue watching so uh as i said it's been a minute since i did a video i've not been feeling well and um life got in the way busy school work and all that so last 10 years of backstory last 10 years i've not been feeling okay i have had got issues digestion issues for a very long time and for the longest time every time like i went to the doctor or sometimes even was it, uh, when i was at home i'll just go get something over the counter and uh the symptoms will just subside a little bit and then i'm back to them and whatnot so that was what was going on and after baby number two it got out of control had to go to the hospital not to get checked out and yeah it's been a journey so la the whole of last year yeah ER visit so many times like every single month i had to go to the er and most of the time when i went to the er they just gave me me relax send me home peptobismo take your peptobismo go home times <sighs> anyways uh the last visit that i i did to the er was last month and when i went to that visit it had gotten really bad where like i was throwing up and i couldn't keep anything in my stomach so i was like i got really scared and i went to see a doctor well the er again and uh, that day that i went to the er it was on sunday night and the following day i had uh, an appointment with my primary doctor so it was the same hospital so i was like okay they'll get the, the notes and whatnot so that's what i did and that's what happened and uh when i went to the er the doctor that i talked to was good um yeah she was okay so when uh after that after like that visit she came and told me yeah you might be on mirror locks for the rest of your life and that just broke me because i was that stuff is gross and instead of that i'd rather know what my problem is and just deal with it head on um if but they told me to like be on foods that are high in fiber and watch what i was eating and um she gave me a referral to see a uh, gastrology gastrology yeah <laughs> gastrology and that i went home at 1 a.m and that was it they did give me a, a liquid medication, lactulose, which was good. It helped me a lot. I, uh, that one I'll say that helped me for that one day, the Monday, um, until I saw my doctor. So it was good. So when I went to my doctor, that's when like we got talking and I told him about like the backstory of everything that was going on. And that's when he suggested that I get tested for H. pylori. That was not in the in my head. Like I knew I was not okay, but never thought that I had H. pylori. I didn't have a lot of information about it prior, and I it's just one of those things that you're like me mm -mm, now, no. But when the doctor suggested it, I was like. You know, it's it was at that point I was like, well, I hope that's what I have because I know what meds to take. The doctor will know what meds to give me, and we can just deal with it instead of dealing with an unknown. Don't know what's going on. So my what is it called? My uh, my test results. Everything else came back good. So everything was normal. I only had elevated blood sugar. It was in the morning. I have I had just had breakfast, so that is what happened. And 
I did the HPLORI test and the results came back after two, three days. So that, that was a while. But when I was at the doctor, I told him about the lactulose that was given in the ER and he prescribed some more for me. So I got two bottles of it. So that kind of helped me manage the symptoms for those few days before I got the results because they couldn't start, we couldn't start any treatment. So yeah, and that's what happened. Anyways, so that got me thinking about H. pylori and me not knowing about it prior was like a wake up call for me. And I got to dig deeper into it to learn more about it because it affects most of us. Uh, and I read that it affects more than half of the world, like half of the world has it. Um, well, every site is different. So I'm reading from WebMD. It says two thirds of the world population has it. For most people, it never causes any symptoms, but it's most common cause of peptic ulcers, which are painful open sores in your digestive tract. In rare cases, it could lead to stomach cancer. Uh, how do you get this? Uh, it's usually spread from one person to another person and also likely through dirty food, water or utensils, mouth to mouth kissing, contaminated poop or vomit. Uh, that's like serious stuff right there. I didn't know for the long, like, I didn't get, I didn't have any information prior to this. So when I was reading this, I was like, man, this is really bad. Uh, and also it's a bacterial infection. So yeah, this, that. So it's contagious. It's very, very, yeah. The risk factors of this will are crowded living conditions, lack of clean water and sewer services, living in close quarters with somebody who's infected, living in developing countries. Symptoms, bloating, burping, no appetite, nausea, vomiting, weight loss for no clear reason. Um, yeah, when to get emergency help. Bloody poop, trouble breathing, dizziness, pale skin, vomit, serious sharp stomach pain and so many oh my goodness um yeah vomiting weight loss black poop scary there's um two there's two tests that i came across from reading there's stool stool test and urea breath test and um for me i did the urea breath test let me see if they have the instructions. Okay, so I'm just going to read this out of here. Um, but this is what I did. So during this test, you exhale into a bag so your doctor can measure how much CO2 is in your breath. Then you swallow a liquid that contains urea. Several minutes later, you'll exhale. Several minutes, 15 minutes. Uh, you'll exhale into a different bag to measure your CO2 again. The two bags are sent to a lab for comparison. If, you're H -pylori, if you have H. pylori in your gut, it will break down the urea in the liquid you swallowed and CO2 will be released into your breath. If there's more carbon dioxide in the second sample than the first, your test, you te your test is positive for H. pylori. So, that is the test that I did, and yeah, crazy. So the treatment, they treated with a combination of antibiotics. Um, the, this triple therapy, therapies that combine PPIs with two antibiotics remain the first line option for treating H. pylori. Antibiotics, uh, some of them are amoxil amoxicil oh my goodness amoxicillin <laughs> clarithos biaxin metrodizole tetracycline samicin 
Trainer da so. Train, my God. Tinder Max. <laughs> so that's uh, some of the medications. Uh, yes, the medications you get. Since we said it's uh, bacterial infection, so antibiotics are, is what you're given. So I have some of the medications that I took personally, and this is one of them. So I got tetracycline and CL 500 mg. And I was taking this three times a day for 14 days. And let me see. Oh, Lord, I can't. Okay. It says if you're pregnant, do not take the medication breastfeeding. Do not take it. So if you're breastfeeding, you stop breastfeeding to take the meds or take the meds after you, you're you done breastfeeding. Um, the next medication was metronidazole. Oh, God. Metronidazole. Metronidazole, 500 mg. This one is a white tablet. This one is blue capsule. Uh, the other one is omeprazole. This is very common. I've seen it so many times working in healthcare. And um, it's also over the counter, but I got a prescription for it. This, so the, these two, 14 days, this one, omeprazole, two times a day for the next 42 days. And the last one is bismuth. That one. Bismuth subsalis color. Oh, whatever. So this one is similar to Pepto-Bismol, but a little bit stronger. It's in tablet form, uh, chewable. It's a chewable, so it's like tabs. All of them are pink. So those are the medications that I took. And the side effects of those medications was crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, my gosh, I can't. I think for those two weeks, I got so sick. I, it got worse than I was in the beginning. I I think in the 14 days, I missed five days of work. I couldn't function. I was very tired all the time. I was throwing up. Nausea was killing me. I was sleeping the entire time. Like I'll sit down and I'm ju I just pass out. So let's read some of the uh, side effects of this medication. I just... Everybody has, uh, gets affected differently by different things. And um, I did get some of these side effects that are here. Most of them, but not all. But I'm just going to read them just in case you get a different symptoms than I, a symptom that I did. That I did and um, so, just, so, you know. So, some of the side effects for amiprazole, diarrhea. Headache, I got headache, constipation, gas, I got gas, nausea, I was very nauseous, stomach pain, I didn't get that, dizziness, oh, that was bad because I couldn't drive, um, rash, allergic reaction, blurred vision, chest pain, confusion, diphagia, which is um, somebody, uh, difficulty swallowing, Drowsiness, irregular heartbeat, which I got a lot. Fever, increased sweating, blah, blah, blah. Those are uh, like common, the common uh, side effects. The other one is metro, metro, metro yeah, 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 these medications, man. So these information we're getting from WebMD, and uh, some of the side effects are. Dizziness, headache, stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, loss of appetite, diarrhea, constipation, metallic taste in your mouth. Uh, and it says if it gets worse, talk to your doctor. And um, it's good to do, do your own research when you get medication because man is to error. You might miss something or the doctor might not mention something. That needs to be very serious. That can cause serious effects. Because uh, one of the things that I read here is when you're taking this medication, you cannot take dairy products because it affects the, how the antibiotics work. Uh, the other one is tetracycline HCL. 
this one is kind of very very scary is hcl is uh hydrochloric acid but i don't know if it, that's what it's applying to here but my guess is it is side effects um, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, nausea, diarrhea, headache, swollen tongue, dermatitis, dizziness, fever, um, teeth staining, yellow skin, black hairy tongue. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Pathasia, bleeding, mouth sores, muscle pain, fatigue, chest pain, and frequent urination. That was crazy. The frequent urination, I think at some point I thought I had a UTI. Uh, and the nausea, the nausea was out of this world nausea my nausea was so bad i was very nauseous and i was throwing up as, as well um with this medication i got some ginger bites that were helping me with the nausea but not so much but they made it manageable and i ended up losing like five days of work because i couldn't drive i didn't feel safe driving i was feeling very tired and sleepy all the time uh yeah that is my video for today if you have, if you yourself, you have a relative or a friend who's not feeling well. And um, also the other thing that I read is that, well, we've also read it's, is that it's common in developing countries. And when you dig deeper, it's mostly common in Africa and Asia. So if you have any of those symptoms that we talked about, it's good to get tested. Uh, if you know a friend who might have, any of those symptoms it's it doesn't hurt to get tested the worst case scenario you're told you don't have it and you're clear and if you don't have it they test for something else and um and also we've seen that it, mo most people uh will confuse the symptoms with just ulcers which yeah just to be on the safe side you know to be on the safe side it doesn't hurt to be on the safe side and it makes everything manageable and since we've seen that there's meds for th for it, better yet, like get tested and uh, get on with it. The the meds, I'm gonna be honest, the meds make made me sick more than I was before. I was not functioning. I was very tired, and one of the things that got me shocked. It's not here. It got my anxiety on the next level my anxiety was bad i was i could not sleep i had to like listen to the to mu soothing music the whole night uh it was bad i was having vivid dreams and then after the meds because now it's been two days since i took the meds the day that i stopped taking the meds my anxiety gone blood pressure down my blood pressure was shooting all the time because my blood pressure ranges from 109 112 but when i was taking the meds it got so high over 125 i was going to 130 which is very uncommon for me and i've never gotten there but now it's back down it's gotten down uh and i have my own blood pressure cuffs i use them and i track my blood pressure just to be on the safe side it, it doesn't hurt so that's it for me guys be safe out there and if you have somebody who's not feeling well prayers to you guys and god bless you thank you